morning and thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Osi Godwin and I've got my interesting co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olua Oshunke. Hello. How are you guys doing? Namaste. Is there peace today? Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, this morning is a bit um, on a down mood as um, TV host Caroline Flick fa was found dead at her home. A lawyer to the family confirmed she died by suicide and her body was found in her East London flat on Saturday. Mm. First, me her soul rest in peace, but yeah. um, when it's suicide, it's quite sad. Yes. Yeah. basically took your life. Mm. I think she was going through a lot at mm. the time because um, she was battling the lawsuits. I think that was assault on her boyfriend and then she was taking off the show that she's been hosting for about um it's from 2005 yeah okay and um she granted an interview some time um ago to say that the show has become part of her mm. life and that she cherishes the moment but um nobody saw this coming because i think she uploaded an instagram post a day before and it's quite sad it's really quite sad. But then the said boyfriend, which is way younger, she's she was 40 and mm. he is 20. Is it 27 or 28? Um, he, has, he put up an Instagram post to say he misses her and that he will carry on her legacy. And that left me wondering what exactly happened for you to file a lawsuit against her. And also, I mean, that was the beginning of her, her trigger, let me put it that way, you know. Yeah. Um, this story is very sad, like you mentioned. Uh, you never really understand what's going through somebody's mind because I feel like if you're not in this situation, everyone just thinks, why would you do that? Mm -hmm. or, like, yeah. you know, what would push you there? Obviously, there's a reason because it's happened. Um, when I thought about it, I kind of just felt like this is what my, Meghan Markle and her, her husband were probably looking at. I've never really thought that, and I've always worked in the media, at least for my student life I was a major student, so I've understood the industry to an extent. I'm not saying I've worked there long enough, but I've never really understood when people had this fear about the media and how like powerful it would be until you see situations like this. Like, because if you're tough skin, like you can get over trolls and just ignore it and all the advice that you hear. But when you now start to see people leave the, leave the royal family or commit suicide, then it's like, maybe we really need to think about how deep um, the power of media is on people's lives. Mm -hmm. um, it's really unfortunate because her, her story has many layers, like you mentioned. And there's different things about her. We, we, we don't know. We don't, I don't sleep on the same bed with her and have people talk to so understand in depth what was happening. But uh, I also have to bring in the fact that um, uh, suicide can also be a mental thing, like mental health thing. Mm -hmm. um, from, from what the ex-boyfriend now said, from his uh, message, it felt like she'd been battling for a while. Mm. And he was saying something about her saying that each time she's with him, she has peace and that's mm. the only thing she thinks about and that he's sorry or that he feels bad for not being able to mm. be there for her at that particular yeah. time. So I think it's she's been battling it for a while but yeah. she probably had too much trigger just in this place. And of something about just three broke months. the yeah it something so I, there's a, definitely a straw that broke the camel's back. Mm -hmm. Like something that just said, okay this is it, I can't take it anymore. Um I mean we always talk about how uh, people have different thresholds. You know, what, what same situation can happen to you and me, mm -hmm. and we will react very differently. Tell you we move. <laughs> <laughs> um, and for you, it's a big deal. For me, it was nothing, or vice, or whatever. Um, I, I, you never really know. And that's why I think we need more empathy as a people, and I mean Dude. globally across the across across everyone, like mm -hmm. age, race, all that. Um, is that we need to start learning how to really be empathetic, especially if I bring it back to Nigerian culture. I feel like I've, I've lived in a few um, cultures, and I can say that Nigeria is on the top list of people who lack empathy the most. We are warm, but we don't, we don't really have empathy. We mock weakness. We don't appreciate when people are we vulnerable. Don't, yeah. mm -hmm. we, don't we don't appreciate... We don't so understand it. We don't, even wanna, we don't even want to... Like, they give me... Even, even, yeah, because even for kids, if kids cry, and I know, I'm not even talking about gender now because they say, oh, when boys cry, even when girls cry, it's like, what is it? Oh, I think this uncle is, will you keep quiet to go and sit down? Like, mm. people don't really take their time to really just 
um, empathize with each other. And I think we need that as a people. Um, I remember there was an argument we're making, this is off plus TV when someone was saying that, eh, but it's Oimbo people, like making it a white thing that we don't have suicide. That's absolutely false. Nigeria is just not recorded properly, but we have many, you know, I think many suicidal has, has um, moved on conversations. That, yeah, but just that now people yeah. are better at like sweeping under the rock. So I think for me, when I read the story, I just thought you need to really, you know, be more conscious about the people around you. So, um, first of all, my heart goes out to Caroline Flack for this one, and um, I like the angle you came from that, but um, we lack empathy, and I also like the fact that um, suicide is not um, something to play with, and it's really sad when people take their lives and you really don't know what they've been battling, but in a case, we know a few, but um, is it enough trigger? We would never know. We would well, never we know it. it no, is. we would never yeah, know, know what. You know, whatever it was, it was enough trigger. Yeah, as in, we, as in, we would never know if it was enough. Like you said, we, we don't sleep on the same bed with her. There might be other things in her life that didn't even get the media as well. But um, I would always be one of those people. I don't want to come from a place of lack of empathy, but um, I would also like to say that suicide is not an option. Taking your life is the easy escape route because no dark time lasts forever. The sun comes in the morning. No rainy day lasts forever. The sun will definitely shine. Do you understand? I, so, I, I don't really... Um, no, no, I'm coming. I, I understand that um, we all handle situations differently, but we shouldn't... I, I wouldn't, okay, let me say, I wouldn't speak given people the room to say that, okay, because So basically people, you're advising the people alive yeah, now, right? Yeah, the people okay. alive that no <laughs> matter what you're going through in life, just know it would never last forever. There will be different triggers. In fact, if you take, after you um, jump over one hurdle, you'll still find another. So it's life, it's a mm. process. It's never a smooth sail all mm. the way. So I really want people to understand that the easy way out is never I, the solution. I, 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 like, I, I like that though, hashtag suicide is not an option. I prefer yeah. suicide is not an option, if but to say that suicide easy. is the easy it's way out, easy. it's not easy. Um, everyone, I mean, there's a lot of research on people who have survived committing suicide, and that was one of the hardest things they've had to do. Mm -hmm. um, and it's so easy, it's so easy to look I did from outside and say, why were you doing that? And it's not an option and blah, blah, blah. But some, when they take that, it's not, it's not a, a coward decision. If anything, they think mm. it's brave mm. that they're doing us a favor by mm. just being, um, not being a burden. Um, but we do know, with what if I say, I have to agree that all the people who have also survived said they were happy they did. Mm. Because at the end of the day, when it's, when it's happening, they wish that it, they didn't want to actually die. Mm. Um, so, but I still think a lot more for me goes to the people around them, not the victims. Because if you're already down, I don't think all the sweet words and the right things and the you know, the best advice is what they need because yeah. already they are not in the proper um, state I of mind. mind. So it's the people who are okay around you um, to really put that responsibility on to make sure that you're checking on, on and your And then friends, um, the moment you start having yeah. thoughts of taking your life or thoughts of dying, that is a sign that you need to see somebody and speak to somebody. So even before you get to the level where you feel like, okay, suicide is the only thing I can do, just talk to somebody yeah. first. The yeah. moment you start having that feeling, okay, talk to, to somebody. On, very quickly, you mentioned something about media. Be, you, you didn't know that media could have this level of effect. And I want to also note that um, media has gone beyond when everybody sits back to say, oh, those are the media, that mm. is media. Media is now everybody. Yeah, so, social media. Because most of the issues, mm. even come from social media and yeah. you are social media i am social media he is social media so i think we also individually have got responsibilities on our hands to mind what we put out there and what mm. we say to people whether they're celebrities or mm. not mind the kind of comments you put out to anyone out there Okay, let's move on to the next story. I want to touch on T-Boss, but we don't have that time right now. Olakunle Church Hill has sued, is suing Toto DK over her 2019 interview. He filed a lawsuit in Abuja against the actress, um, seeking no less than $500 million in damages over her 2019 interview, which sparked uproar on social media. According to the court papers, the first and second claimants, Church Hill and um, Big Church Foundation, respectively, are claiming that that series of malicious, Lashio's allegations, assertions, and accusations 
through mm -hmm. media campaigns and publications Rap by Tonto DK and her charity group was defamatory, baseless, and sponsored to tarnish and damage the image and political ambition of the claimant, as he might have told her his intentions to run for House of Representatives in his constituency. <coughs> okay. He might have. He doesn't mm. know if he has. If he mm. did, right? Mm, possibly you don't know what you say all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so how did they hold that up? I mean, there'll be a lot of time to talk if you only last for two minutes. <laughs> no, 40 seconds, what I say? Oh Lord. Why did you have to go that way? Why did you go that way? But if I... Malicious and fallacious. <laughs> You'll be named now. You'll, You'll be, be named. Um, I have... You know, I, I had to go and rush to read to make sure that my name did not have yeah. to be lost. I had to check that too. Uh, wait, why are we giving them clues? Why are we giving them ideas? Let's just see and find out. Um, I think, this is what I think. I think that... For all you know, um, Tonto Diki might not actually be lying, and all those things that she said was true. But I have to agree with Churchill that she was intending to defame him. Mm. If you granted one interview, that's fine. But she, sis did not stop at one interview. She went everywhere yeah, to every one, media outlet that... No, she dared actually to, granted just one, and then she did a YouTube video. No, she did more than one. She did, she did Plus TV. Mm -hmm. She did Dr. Freeze. Are you guys That's she did, and then her own platform. She did not do plus TV. <laughs> she did not do plus TV. She did that. Uh, that Daddy Freeze and her YouTube, and no, her YouTube, YouTube just channel. Three. I feel like there was more. The one that cannot be named. There was, Daddy like, Freeze mm. and her YouTube platform. So mm. people decided to go on her platform. They cut, 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 and create stories around okay. it. She didn't right. go around. She yeah. came to plus TV to visit and she decided to call. She said hi to Bookie November. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. Names. Um, but yeah, I still I feel like she there's some things that were some information like how I just quoted him lasting 45 minutes. I don't think that's it. 40 seconds. 40 seconds. Mm, 45 minutes. minutes is quite a bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, He's a bad guy now. Um, yeah, I feel like there's some things that were just not necessary. And if I was a lawyer and I wanted to see whether or not she was being malicious or whether or not she was actually just trying to let the truth out. I think she kind of made that line a bit blur mm. between telling, talking about her being a victim to then just bashing the man. But let's uh, not forget Churchill was the one granting interviews before mm. she finally spoke. Yeah, with and things his own, that he had evidence he, about. Are you sure she doesn't have evidence? What were the evidence? Well, she had evidence as well. He no, was no, no, no. Saying, she had evidence, but the she He was simply evidence. saying that she was abusing, she abused the mother. mother yeah. There was no evidence. Mm. It was all also hearsay. And we saw pictures of when she was in the hospital and when he claimed she was the one and people were also saying that it was going to decay that beat the mom and all of people that. People said. Yeah, I think. No, all I'm saying is both the, the interview. I think he will granted. be able to call witnesses, but what witness would you be able to she call that in the last 40 documents. seconds? She, sorry, she, she came, came with no, documents. No, no, I know, I know. No, I'm trying to name the parts that she would not mm. have evidence for. Can you call a witness for your man lasting 40 seconds? Were you in the room? Who was in the room? No, well, if it becomes that complicated, then they will have to do it on camera somewhere. I don't know, but that's not the point. That's so, not really the bone of course. That is I think he's talking about the ones that affected his foundation yeah. then, and his. Um, secondly, uh, I, think I think the, the Yahweh Yahu one is yeah, quite, quite yeah, serious. Yeah, that, that, that is our. And that he's not the son of, of, um, defamation the of character. Yeah. Um, Nigeria. That's the formation of character, the Yahweh Yahu one. Then mm -hmm. the fact that you also said that tell um, me never gave out, he never empowered up things, 700 children with. Um, a foundation blah 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 and all of that because the foundation was also dragged so it was like i think it has evidence that it did those things but you're saying it was all a lie it was all well, a fun. I mean, let's see let's see mm -hmm. yeah so let's, let's just, just see. see and i don't this bit such a hot mess i can't even imagine how like the law system works here because if you say you want to show evidence that you've paid what will stop you from go and writing a receipt this is a context type of country where you can do that mm. stop you from writing a receipt back the date and then say oh you've paid it even the whole NGO thing that you're talking about, you could actually create documents to tell yeah. you. You actually send people to, you know. So let's, let's not just let's, let's just, just let's just space. Space. Um, yeah. let's, let's watch the space yeah. and then um, she has fourteen days like, to reply. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean to yeah. um, appear. And we like that this is just between Toto to Decay, Church Hill, and their foundation. No, Hallelujah. Um, this day is also listed um, oh, wow. the Punch and the Guardian newspaper, and they're also saying that she should do a retract on those um, platforms. platforms on their website and all that. Okay. And she should take it out from her YouTube. So they were also named as um, defendants. They should thing. take it down from their YouTube. They should. Take 
take it out from, from their, their social plan, media platforms. website. Yeah. Or she should take it out from her website and then also write an apology. I, I don't know in how many publications, all mm. within 14 days. So she should retract it. Okay, write I, I, an think, apology, I think I think this lawyer people. wasn't very smart. They didn't do their research enough. Mm. That's all I'm going to that way I'm going to end it. But we'll see how this goes because this is just really looks like like you said when I was reading out what they said, it looks mm. like try someone trying to be a rapper. Mm. Like you had the feel that bitch, I'm sorry, okay, let me not go forward. <laughs> it's time for a quick break when we return the canon to Baba and Bonaboy are in the news. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling all right. Make music and people are still by. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> 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 Sleeping early. early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Tilti Time on Plus TV Africa. Nick Cannon rules out marriage. Um, he says, I don't believe in marriage anymore. My mindset has changed. I have done that. I don't like doing things that I'm not good at. End of quote. Hmm. I, I like the I example. Him. Okay. Yeah, go on. Yeah, I think I understand him. Like, this whole marriage thing can be quite scary. And mm. if you've actually now, um, what's the it. word now? You beat your fears and mm. went into it and mm. you realize that it still didn't work for me. You, mm -hmm. you have the right to make that decision. Especially when he has, he has three children now, right? Yeah. I mean, he can make the decision to, and he, he's not blaming his partner, which is yeah. the, the thing I like about his um, statement. Yeah. He's saying he is not good at it, so he doesn't. I, you know, he had another relationship after um, Mario Kari that gave him the last child. So for him, he just wants to leave and be the youngest media mogul, right? That was mm. what he said. So I'm, I'm happy for him and no, he, no judgment from here. Yeah. Um, basically, I like the example you gave, like um, if you go skydiving and you notice of it didn't work out for you, would you go do it again? So it's just a perfect explanation, which marriage is something similar to. I know some people would dare to differ. Some people would say that it is an achievement to get married. But some no, of it us, is an achievement. But if it doesn't so work for you, you can achieve in yeah. many yeah. other ways. Yeah. Some, like. But some of us are just, it's like skydiving to some of us. Cause, um, <laughs> You're saying us. You're going Somebody that said he's married in 2022. I said it's, yeah, it, it doesn't mean I, I would love to go skydiving, but it's like <laughs> skydiving oh to me. Do you understand? <laughs> okay. It's still like, Oh, I hope your girlfriend isn't watching this. No, show. I hope she's watching because I, I, t I tell her she every time that. She needs to know his fear. I'm scared. Mm. I'm, I'm really, really scared, but it don't mean I don't love you. It don't mean I won't still make the what commitment. What are you scared of, your fear? I don't know. That commitment, the fact that um, you, you dedicate your whole life to one person and you get restricted on a lot of things. Okay. And that's I'm a so bad like, way For me, I'm not, no, no, I'm not it's scared. No, it's not a bad way. I just know that, look, there are certain things that will change, but am I ready to change those things? Mm -hmm. Do you Bachelet. understand? Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not scared about marriage. I want to do marriage. I'm scared of the partner being committed to a partner that, that would not would be not, committed mm. to yeah, me. Yeah. That's that's my yeah. fear. But yeah. the idea of marriage, I, yeah. I totally love doing life with one person, mm. being able to I like I'm yeah. able, do my yeah. ball, you know, mm. win, lose, have together, fun and yeah. everything together. Yeah. But the fact that I know that it's very possible that I commit to, to somebody if a higher chance even that's that's yeah. that's scary. Um, I think uh, uh, going on that, that's how I have to disagree with you. When you say that, oh, because you've jumped on a plane, because sometimes it's about the plane that you jumped on or the rope that they used to stitch on <laughs> um, that didn't allow you to jump that plane well. And I always think with life, you just have to try. It also, again. if you don't follow the instruction to pull the rope when you're supposed to pull, pull the rope. <laughs> so I, I, I think sometimes the rope will not pull. You. <laughs> yeah, that's so I, I think that um, just because situation 
relationship didn't work or his relationships haven't worked doesn't mean it can't work mm -hmm. but there is on the flip side that not everyone is just built for that mm -hmm. um, and I like how he was doing a lot of like self um, evaluations mm. and sometimes you can see obviously you can tell that he was part of the problem um, in, in that relationship I don't say he's the only one but maybe I'm sure Mariah Carey has her issues mm -hmm. um, but you can sometimes it gives you an opportunity to be able to see yourself but and have just you noticed, sorry to cut you have you noticed that he he's been the one very open about how painful it was yeah him? yeah I mean, it's my carry. Like, let's not even go into her. She's gone with a billionaire. Come on. Why would she have anything to come I like that. Really. She moved on anyway. fast. Yeah. yeah. Really fast. And, and I don't know anyone around her that has said anything positive. Down to the mm. nanny that takes care of the girls. Yeah. And the dr she doesn't keep staff. So let's, let's not even go into, into that. But I'm, I'm, if he, I know he's going to. He might change his opinion mm. in future. Those if are the kind of statements someone. that are, are evolving. Yeah. Mm. But big shout out to me. What if you meet someone like me, you know? I mean... Uh, and then I saw people because I don't know for some reason in in Africa we don't really see the canon in the bad lights, but Black Americans actually think it's a joke. So, so I remember going on Twitter looking at the story and someone said, "Well, then you need to quit a lot of things because they don't think it's good at media either." So can you, you see why that idea doesn't make sense? That because you're not good at something, because then what is not good? And mm. uh, what about what about space for improvements and things like that? But yeah. Well, um, I think it's okay for you to identify your fears and instead of breaking hearts or keep trying experimenting with different people I think it's just better you know exactly what you want so I can I can only hope that he knows exactly what he wants out of this and it's not just saying statements that he doesn't even like you said he doesn't even know what is good at and what about room for improvement so give yourself a benefit of doubt if there's a chance you find love again and you're willing to do the marriage thing but well so you don't have to do the marriage thing yeah. you go the opera's route and just like commit there's different types of relationships mm. as well if it's that you you can't really be with one person there's many relationships that are open, open. Relationships. There's yeah. many relationships that are, you know. See options now. Nah. Yeah. Okay. See, see, see options. <laughs> a tweet from Innocent Idivi, a popular known as Tubaba, has been interpreted by bloggers to be a perfect response to Bonaboy's social rants. Tubaba tweeted, I know said anybody, but you know me and say, I know they wish you well. Just do your thing, make I do my thing. Now, so we go take do heavy Now, so, right? Now, yeah, so we we'll go take, take do heavy things. Niger people. We must arrange. However, Bonaboy maintains that nobody that is not Fela or his family can ever say they paved any form of way for him. Just, just to ask a question, did Fe, what, was Fe, did Fela like know Bonaboy was going to go into music? Bonaboy's it was like paving. I heard the mom used to be Fela's um, dancer. No, yes, yes. Fella, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I know that was sort of related, but was um fella boy. I say fella boy. Everybody's <laughs> <laughs> boy. Like, fire boy, was boy, fella's, boy. Um, it was fella's manager. Sorry. Yeah, but did he pave? Because you know when when I first read that, that when we talked about it, I thought. Sorry, before we move into Bonaboy, okay. because I think we're not never going to leave there. Do you agree that this tweet from two? No, I don't. I don't think so because I was trying to that. connect it. Right. It didn't make no sense to me. I mean, I mean it's, it's, it's possible to connect. But you have to reach. Like, he, if he didn't say his name, you don't, you don't know. Mm -hmm. But if he's saying that, it's, he doesn't give it uh, the he word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. he doesn't care. That can be related to the fact that he doesn't care about Bernard Boy's statement. So it's not like it's not I impossible to connect them. But what on what ground? Mm -hmm. I think to face was just saying his own. Know, there was no connection to Bernard Boy because it doesn't even relate in any way. But if people just decide, because you don't relate doesn't mean that you can't have a statement I mean, he's in the about industry, something. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this thing is all over the place like everybody and is he's one of the pioneers but Bonner yeah. boy i think he knows um this is twitter rants is not working and it's kind of stupid that's why he had deleted tweets he has? yes he has deleted the tweet so um i think he has realized that people around him are letting did he realize because he this reaffirmation as was as sad yesterday yes yeah, it well, it's, it's not it's not on the street page anymore until he comes so. out to say he has realized I just believe for you to take it down because one boy sounds like a stubborn boy, and for him to take it. I down. think that's what was happening. I think he do, he he said something. He didn't he didn't know how people were going to take it. Obviously, he felt positive, and then he saw like, okay, this is actually being a backlash, and then he just kept digging himself. The arrogance does that. Like, I know I've messed up. I really know I'm not like I'm gonna stay on this because I don't want to have to admit that you know mm. I messed up. That's what I think that was happening because he changed from yet from the day before to yesterday. Because now it seemed like he, was he said nobody, kind of and then now he said fella. Family. Because if he said nobody. We were thinking, oh, okay, nobody actually directly no, paved the way for first, you. He mentioned Fela as well. He mentioned Fela. Mm -hmm. But how did Fela pave a direct path for 
for um, um, he Burner Boy. He posted one of his musical. So when, when, when Fela was ginger, he was like, I want Burner Boy to blow from no, this. No, no, come on. Like, he had Fela some of his musical influences, and most of his biggest songs are samples. People just don't realize. Yeah. 80% of Burner Boy's songs are samples from Fela. Fela has said one line. He, I mean, Burner Boy has said like 5 million lines from a Fela song. Uh, but I feel like if it, it, vibe, I agree to that, but I feel like if, it's that, if there's that mentality or that, that ideology, then it's not just Fela that has done that Why in his life. Why can't he just say Fela is his biggest inspiration and nobody inspires him in the industry? I think, I think that would stop. be easier mm. to swallow. Yeah. Yeah. Because then he's now going a bit back and saying that Fela and his family, but what, what about the respect part and that um, people are begging? How, and, and, and everyone is saying, yeah, we need that in the industry, someone that can be arrogant. But if you need to be pompous to bring other people down, then you need to check yourself again. Just tweet what you need to tweet. Go to bed. Mm. Well, Get I off think Twitter. I'm tired of this old Bonaboy. I'm wondering why M.I. Uh, has also done anything. It mm. seems the last time people bashed him too much. M.I. Yeah. doesn't have words anymore. Oh, wow. I don't okay. think so. He does. Well, last really. Valentine, you know, he made the tweets. He's looking for a wife, so let's help and him. And those are the type of things that if you're interested, I mean, he's just to having fun. Really chill. That's not a big deal. What are you doing? Check. Emma, 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 Emma. By the way, I met him at an event yesterday and I asked him if he's found. Yeah, I, I saw his interview. <laughs> I asked him if he's found um, the one and he said no. So, I mean, I said Sunday. 8.30 p.m. He hasn't found. So if you're interested, <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, Alert your boy. Please just get to him and put him in check because Bonaboy is kind of losing it right now. Bonaboy. What about I mean, Emma? Uh, Emma is kind of losing it right what now. What is he losing? Don't worry. You met him on Sunday, so oh, <laughs> maybe wow. you think he's okay. okay. <laughs> but from his street time, he's just like a Bonaboy right now. Okay. Do you agree? Um, okay. I, 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 I don't follow MI, so I don't okay, know. Yeah, he said a lot of one. BS recently, mm -hmm. recent time. Okay. All right. Okay, that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can watch this conversation by visiting our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Also, do remember to subscribe. You can also watch Tea Time on Arrowsu TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, will go to my interesting co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Shunkaye, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching. Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay with us.